Hello everyone, I'm Cheryl, I'm Cheryl, not it's Cheryl. I'm Cheryl with uh, Yoga in Small Spaces. And today's class is a morning Shivananda class. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit. There won't be as much of um, the sh Shavasanas between all the poses. It is still a classical Hatha class. And with classical Hatha, and Hatha especially, you're not flowing from pose to pose, which is why we hear different terms like vinyasa flow, slow flow, power flow. The flow means you're going flowing, like almost like a dance from one pose to the next. It's like when you think of our sun salutations, we're flowing and connecting the breath with each movement, not taking a breath in between each pose. So with Shivananda, we are taking the time to do a pose and then reflect on how that pose worked for us physically, mentally, how was our breath at that moment. Um, so it's, it's one of my favorite practices because it actually makes me slow down. Um, a lot of people that know me, I'm usually full of energy, very chatty, and when I can tell I'm really unbalanced and scattered all over the place, Shivananda is one of those practices I always love to come back to, to bring that point of connection, that awareness, that observance uh, to my mental state, my physical state, and also my breath. Um, if I sound kind of funny in this class, it's because I have a beautiful cold. Um, it's almost gone by, but it's at the stage of the nasal into the throat. I have Phoebe's voice from friends. Maybe I should try to make a record. I won't do that to you. And anyways, um, what you're gonna need for this class is um, I recommend maybe a blanket for just if you need to keep warm in between the poses um, or also just support for underneath the neck or the shoulders depending on what we're doing. Also underneath the knees. Like I said, this is not a fast class. Um, we will be tackling quite a bit of things even though it's slow. And I will be mindful and try to remember to bring in and verbal cues on modifications on some of these poses. If you're like, this is just too much for me, or if I'm in a pose and you wanna go a little bit further, you are an advanced practitioner and you wanna go further, that is completely at your discretion and your choice um, if you wanna go a little bit further. Um, I think that's everything. I know I keep looking down and it's because I have the uh, live stream beside me making sure you can see what's going on. Um, I'm going to make my way to my mat and we are going to get started. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> I also do recommend having a glass of water or a tea or even a coffee nearby. I know I said coffee, but sometimes that's our beverage choice, right? So yeah, have or buy. Um, <laughs> I got funky hair today. That's okay though. <laughs> so, oh, just give me a moment here, sorry. Making sure I can see what's going on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so usually in Shivananda, we start off in Shavasana for to bring that physical and mental connection and also the breath connection with those two uh, entities, the physical and the mental. But because this is morning, I want to have less sh shavasanas today, just so you don't feel like you have to go back to sleep on your mat if you have to get going during the day. If you want to plug in a, a little bit more shavasanas in between the poses, you're more than welcome to. So we're going to come to Sukhasana, having our legs crossed. If you do have want to come into a full bonding with locusts or having the knees stacked on top of one another, whatever feels best for you. Um, I'm gonna actually move my mat back, I'm sorry. I'm noticing you can't see everything right now. There, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, so you can have the legs crossed, you can have one leg in front of the other, if you want to sit in rock pose, you can. You are also more than welcome to sit on a pillow or a cushion. It's just a little bit more comfortable. 
We will be here for a little bit at the beginning. So at any point, if you need to change your seated position, just take that time and give yourself that comfort, okay? So, in your seated position, whatever one you chose for this, for this practice at the beginning, I want you to close your eyes. Allow the eyes to relax behind the eyelids. Soften the eyelids. And just have your hands where they just, they naturally want to go. So don't force anything with the arms or the hands. Just become very comfortable and present. And I want you to come in tune with your physical body. And let's start at the crown of the head, at the very top of the scalp. Moving into the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyes. The cheeks, the ears, the nose. Your jaw. And just take a moment here with the jaw. Do you feel like you're clenching? Part the back teeth slightly. I like actually move my jaw side to side in a nice slow motion. And allowing my jaw to relax. So keep those back teeth parted. Soften those muscles of the jaw. And drop the tongue down from the roof of your mouth. And then just slowly turn your head so you're engaging the neck muscles. Nice and slow, turning from side to side and noticing any other sensations in the body from the rotation of the neck. Noticing if there's any knots or tension in the neck or maybe everything just feels nice and loose. So just take your time here And allow the neck to come back in line with the spine. See if you can allow your chin to be parallel with the ground. Now move to your shoulders. They feel like they're making their way up towards the ears. Just relax the shoulders down. And scan down both arms, focusing in first on the upper arms. So the biceps and the triceps. And then moving into your elbows, the outside of the elbows and the interior. And now into the forearms, all around. Into your wrists, your hands and fingers. Now make your way back up towards the shoulders and focus in on your chest, and your upper back. Your lower rib cage, so where your thoracic diaphragm is, and your thoracic spine, so that's your mid back. And then into the abdominal muscles, so around the belly, the navel, moving into the lower back, the lumbar spine. Breathe into your hips, your pelvis, your groin, and even to your glutes. And now start scanning down both legs, the front of the thighs, around to the hamstrings, the knees, the calves and shins, the ankles, the feet, so the top of the feet and the soles of the feet, into your toes. Now 
Now slowly open your eyes. And we're going to start with movement, but not probably what you were thinking. We're going to work on our eye muscles this morning or for this class. And this can be done any time of the day. I know I'm a little bit further away, so I'll be guiding you more verbally on this than visually. So I want you to look straight ahead. Have a nice, comfortable seat. So if you've had to readjust anything, so for myself, I'm switching the cross of my legs. And I'm looking straight forward. I'm going to look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down. Center the eyes, close the eyelids. Open the eyes. We'll be going from side to side, right to left. So looking forward, look right, look left. Look right, look left. Look right, look left. Look right, look left. And center, close the eyes. We're going to be doing diagonal eye movements. So starting with the right up cor corner to the right, and then looking down to the left. So it's a diagonal uh, line that you're creating. So first look center, look up right, down left, up right, down left, up right, down left. Up right, down left, center, close the eyes. Open the eyes, now the opposite, left to right. Look up left, down right. Up left, down right. Up left, down right. Up left. Down right. Close the eyes. Eyes are in center. Open the eyes. We're going to be doing two full circles in one direction. Sorry, one full circle in one direction, then one full circle in the other direction. So you're going to look up and with slow control of the eyes. Make one circle in one direction. And then when you get to back to the top, go into the other direction. And then close the eyes and the eyes are back to center. Open the eyes. We're going to come into next stretches. So I'm changing my position of my seated position. Coming to rock pose, so sitting on my heels. If you want to come to this position and your sit bones don't come all the way back to your heels, place a pillow or a cushion uh, or a block underneath the sit bones and that will raise you up a little bit more for support. Or you can put a blanket in between the crease of the, the hamstring and the calf. And that'll help elevate any discomfort for some of us. So again, the hands are resting gently wherever they're most comfortable. I'm bringing my spine in a nice uh, straight alignment, elongation, um, but not to a point where my breath is being constricted. So I have a nice ease of my, of my spine and my back, but I'm more focused on, uh, sorry, on the presence and the stacking of my vertebrae. My shoulders are away from my ears. I'm looking forward. You can do this with the eyes closed or the eyes open for moving into our next stretches. So you're gonna inhale whenever the neck is at center. 
Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, dipping back, opening the throat. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, dip back. One more. Inhale, chin to chest. Center, open up the throat. Come back to center. We're going to be rotating right, then center, left, then center. So inhale, exhale right. Center, exhale left, center, exhale right, center, exhale left, center, exhale right, center, exhale left. Center. And we're going to go ear to shoulder. So the shoulders don't move, it's just the movement of the neck. Here we go. You're going to inhale. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left, center, right, center, left, center. Now we're going to do per side one whole neck circle. Listen to your neck, listen to your ROM or ROM, which is a rate of range of motion. Don't force anything that does not feel right. I'm going to exhale my chin to chest and just slowly create a circle in one direction. When my chin comes back to my chest, I'm going to switch directions. Then come back up to center. Just notice with the eyes closed, whatever sensations, feelings you're having within the neck. Maybe you were noticing something that went in the whole body, somewhere else in the body with that neck movement. We're going to move into a breathing technique. So it's just a different modification of alternate nostril breathing. But for this uh, practice, we're going to be focusing on one nostril with our inhalations and exhalations, and then taking a break and then switching to the other nostril. So you can stay sitting on your heels, or again, if you need to move your position, move your position. And we're going to be starting, I'm going to be using my right hand, my right index finger and we're going to be plugging the right nostril. So let's focus on the natural breath first. You're going to exhale. Breath in. Just feel the sensations of each inhalation and exhalation. Take a nice deep breath. Plug the right nostril. Exhale to the left. Inhale left, exhale left, inhale left, exhale left, breath in, breath out, one more, you breathe in through the left nose, nostril, 
and exhale fully. Release the right hand down. Close your eyes. Notice there's probably some moisture in the right side. Left might have gotten a little bit dry with each inhalation and exhalation. And now we're going to switch using the left hand, left index finger. I'm going to exhale fully before pushing down that left nostril. Inhale. Plug the left nostril. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Release the left nostril. Return to your natural breath. And allow the eyes to remain closed. They're open with a nice south gaze blurred slightly down. You need to grab yourself a drink. I'm just going to grab myself a little drink here of water. And we're going to make our way up to standing. However, you want to come up to standing on your mat. We're going to do just four rounds of sun salutations, which is actually two full rounds. So coming to the top of your mat, feet are about hip width apart. Arms are alongside the body, palms facing towards the wall in front of you. You're going to exhale, inhale, exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, extend the arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, bring those hands down onto the mat. You're going to inhale, right foot back, knee to the ground, chin up. Hold the breath to your plank. Exhale, your knees. Then bending the elbows, bring the chest and forehead down. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, downward dog, inverted B. You're going to inhale, right foot forward, left knee to the ground. Exhale, left. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, palms. Inhale, extend the arm. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back, knee to the ground, chin up. Hold the breath to a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted B, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee to the ground. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale. Exhale, palms. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back, knee to the ground, chin up. Retain to a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee to the ground. Exhale, left. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale. Exhale, palms. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back, knee to the ground, chin up. Retain to your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee to the ground. Exhale, right. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms down. You're going to 
can make your way down onto your mat, however you want to get down to laying on the back. I'm going to bring my arms parallel to the ground, bring my feet a little bit wider than the hip width apart just because my hips are still a little tight. I'm going to squat and then come to laying on my back. Getting ready for wind relieving pose. Getting more within the core and the hips and the legs. Remember to protect the lower back here. Hands and arms are on either side of the body, palms down. Keep that left foot flex. We're going to be starting with the right leg. We're going to do four per side. So doing leg raises, four, and then going into wind relieving pose. You're going to exhale. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale it almost to the floor. Let it hover. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Bring the hands behind the thighs onto the hamstring. Give yourself a gentle stretch here. You can point the toes, flex the foot. One more time, point the toes, flex the foot. Now bend the knee, and then this time you keep the hands on the hamstring or bring them on top of the shin for wind relieving pose. And breathe. release the leg, extend it back up, and exhale it all the way down to the floor. We're going to move over to the left leg. So flex first the right foot. That gives you that nice anchoring on the right side. You're going to exhale fully. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale it, not all the way to the floor, let it hover. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. Breath out. One more. Inhale. Leave the leg up. Gently interlace the fingers behind the thigh, so on the hamstring. You're going to point those left toes. Flex the foot. Point and flex. And now bend the knee, hands can stay on the hamstring, or then come on to the shin when you're leaving pose on the left side. Nice smooth breath. Extend the leg up and exhale all the way down to the floor. And just relax here for a moment in Shavasana. This is one of our Shavasanas in between our poses. And just noticing the sensations in the hips, in the belly, maybe within the back, the glutes. We're going to move into Sharvangasana, which is our shoulder stand. So while practicing shoulder stand, you want to make sure you have beautiful connection or, and mindful connection and how far you're coming into the pose. You can use the aid of a chair or a wall to come into this pose. Your glutes can stay on the floor. If you do not have that core strength to bring the glutes up off the floor, you're just tired. Please don't force the body in something that's just not wanting at this moment. You're going to bring the legs together, feet flexed, bring the hands underneath the glutes or like on either side. Your neck's going to remain in line with the spine. You're going to exhale fully. <sighs> Inhale, both legs up. Remember, glutes can stay on the ground. 
I'm gonna flex my feet coming into my shoulder stand. You choose, you want the toes pointed or flexed. I can tell I wanna readjust where my arms and hands are, so I'm just gonna bend the knees, bring them in towards the forehead. That helps with center and gravity and protection. And then I move my hands and arms and then come back up into my shoulder stand. Smooth breath. This morning, I'm going to come out of it a little bit different than I normally do. I'm actually going to bend my knees down towards my forehead and then slowly allowing my hands to be my guide on my back body, roll down one vertebra at a time with control and then bring the knees, keep my knees bent and have my feet come to the floor, getting ready to come right into bridge. So my arms and hands are on either side of the body. Knees are in line with the hips. Ankles are in line with my knees. If this doesn't feel good for the length of your legs, your feet can be a little bit forward here, okay? Neck stays in line with the spine. I'm looking up towards the ceiling. And I'm gonna inhale, coming up into my bridge. And I'm gonna bring my arms and hands underneath, giving more of a chest opening, allow myself to come a little bit higher into my bridge, just because that's where my body wants to go this morning. I have my fingers interlaced underneath on the floor, but if you don't wanna do that, you can keep the arms and hands on either side of the body. Nice, smooth breath. up a little bit more, tighten my glutes, and then slowly with control, releasing down one vertebra at a time. I'm going to windshield wipe my knees side to side. And then even bring my knees in towards my belly, give myself a nice spinal massage. And I'm going to roll to my side and come up to a seated position with my legs extended out in front of me. I'm getting ready for Paschimottasana, which is a seated forward fold. You can put a pillow underneath your sit bones if you'd like. If you're noticing any discomfort in the knees, you can have a rolled blanket or even like a little pillow underneath the knees for this pose. You can have the feet together. I prefer to have my feet hip width apart. And it's kind of Push, pulling, as if someone's pulling each foot away from me, just get a little bit of ease into my hips. And then I'm coming centered. I'm noticing my sit bones aren't completely equal, so I'm just gonna pull that excess flesh from underneath myself to get ready to come into the fold. I'm gonna keep my feet flexed. That's already engaging the stretch into the back of my legs. I have my spine as straight as comfortably possible, and I'm gonna inhale my arms up overhead, hinge at my hips, and wherever my hips want to stop, and I just allow myself to come into my fold. Smooth breath. So for the last few days, I've had a cold, so I haven't really been doing a lot of moving, and I'm noticing the tightness, especially in the back of my legs, going into my glutes and lower back. And that's okay, it just kind of brings that awareness, that connection. Smooth breath. I'm going to do two more breaths. We're going to inhale, exhale. Breath in and breath out. 
On my next breath, and I'm putting my hands toward my feet so I feel that elongation happening up my upper back and even to my lower back. And I'm gonna come up out of my fold. Woo -hoo. Release my arms down. And I'm gonna come into an inclined plank. But for myself today, I'm gonna to bend my knees and just come up into an up face table. So you can have those legs straight coming into an inclined plane, or you can have those knees bent. Then release the sit bones down. And then you're gonna make your way onto your belly. So we're gonna kinda of have a little bit of fun or play with the cobra this morning, Bhujangasana. So first, just allow yourself to relax on your belly. I love laying on my belly because I can really notice my breath. Where my belly pushes into the ground with each breath in. And then it's like the body just lets go and the breath out. So to move into Cobra, I want you to be mindful and present in the ability of movement, your range of motion of your spine. Never come up higher than feels comfortable. We're using the core. We're noticing the ability and mobility of our spine here. So if it gets too much, you can also move into a sphinx pose, so you choose. So for Cobra, I want you to rotate your heels so they're pointing in towards each other. And you'll notice we're already engaging when we move the heels inwards, we're already starting to engage the muscles on the outsides of the thighs into the hips and also the glute muscles and the engagement into that lower back. You're gonna bring your hands either in line with your shoulders or your chest. And your forehead's gonna come down onto your mat. You're gonna inhale, forehead, nose, chin up off the mat first. No hands, breathe. And if you wanna go further, gentle push the hands into the mat. Be aware of the shoulders here. Notice that they're making their way up towards your ears. If they are, pull those shoulder blades down your back. Soften the face. And then slowly come down one vertebra at a time. Relax those heels. Make your pillow. So you need to turn your head the opposite way to relax. Now I'm going to go into a wide cobra, Bhujangasana. Uh, bring your feet towards the bottom corners of your mat. You can still rotate the heels inwards. Bring your hands wider than the shoulders. You're going to inhale, exhale, inhale up into a nice wide cobra. Smooth breath. If this is too much, go back to a baby easy cobra here. And then come on down one vertebra at a time. Nice, slow and controlled. Bring your toes together. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders and push your way back to child's pose. I'm coming into a wide knee child's pose where my knees are parted. You can have the knees together. When the knees are together, it gives a little bit more rounding to the spine, but I just kind of want to get a little bit more release here for my um, how my lumbar spine feels like it wants to move this morning. Smooth breath.
I'm gonna slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. And you're gonna come to seated on your sit bones with your legs extended out in front of you. Coming into Ardhamatsya Drasana. So you're gonna take that right leg, cross it over the left, bend the left leg and bring that left heel closer to the right hip. If that's too much, keep that left leg extended. Bring the right hand behind you, extend the left arm up. You're gonna have a huge stretch on that left and you're gonna rotate to the right and hug the knee. I like to hug the knee. I find I get full advantage of the twist with just the hug. So I'm gonna stretch into my right hip on the outside of my right thigh, but I'm also working on my mobility and flexion of my spine and working within the spinal muscles and ligaments. Or I should say muscles attached to the spine, not my spinal muscles. <laughs> there we go. Smooth breath in and out of the nose. Come back to center and switch legs. So now I'll take my left leg, crossing it over. Remember, you can keep that right leg straight, or you can bend the knee, bring the right heel in beside the left glute. Right hand behind you, extend, left, right arm up, twist, and hug. Smooth breath. Face is relaxed. Come back to center. Extend both legs out, gentle shake. You're gonna make your way up to Tadasana, Mountain Pose. So I'm gonna turn sideways. Actually, I'm gonna stay forward so you can see what's happening. We're gonna come into Tree Pose here. So I have my feet hip width apart. I'm just gonna gently march my feet so they come into their natural stance, alignment with the hips. I'm gonna root my left foot into the ground and bring my right foot up for tree. So I'm finding my drishti, my focal point. I'm just gonna bring my hands to my heart today into prayer pose. Smooth breath. Release that right leg down. I'm gonna see if I can come into this without moving my hands. I'm gonna raise my left foot up into tree. I gotta move my hands, but I stick my foot on my right thigh. There we go. Nice smooth breath. Release that left foot down. I'm going to turn sideways here. We're going to come into dancer's pose. So I'm rooting my left foot into the mat. Left hand is in front of my face. almost like pizza. And then my right hand is to the side with a little teacup holder. And I'm going to lift my right foot up off the mat, bending my knee behind me. So my foot's behind me. So this can be for aspiration. The back toes can be touching. You can cup that foot into the right hand. This may be enough, or you can move into dancer's pose. Release, come back out of it. We're gonna switch sides. So root that left, right foot into the ground. Right hand in front with pizza, left hand to the side if you're holding a cup of tea, and I'm gonna bend that left leg. I'm gonna hold on to my left foot. Remember that left foot can stay behind you on the ground, whatever variation you have. Find that focal point. Release, come back up. I'm gonna have my feet hip width apart, inhaling my arms up overhead, and I'm coming 
hinging at the hips into my forward fold. Give yourself a micro bend into the knees and then releasing the hands somewhere on your legs. Allow the neck to relax. I'm going to take my hands and just put it bring them underneath the heels of my feet to come into my forward fold. I'm going to release my hands, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. I'm going to turn the length of my mat, bring my feet double shoulder width apart. I'm going to turn my right toes away. I'm going to bring my arms out to a T, bring my right hand first down to my right leg, extend my left arm up, and exhale to a nice classic. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Opening up my chest so my heart's opening up in front of me. And come all the way back up. Releasing the arms to my right toes, same direction as my left. Now I'm switching. Left hand's jump. I'll first bring my arms to a T. Gently release left hand, extend right arm, exhale. And come on back up. I'm gonna heel toe my feet together. Just squat down, come to seated on my mat. Resting the hands on my my legs, palms down, or you have the choice of palms up, connecting the index thumbs, index fingers with the thumb. <laughs> and it focus in on our breath. Do the last three breaths together. You're going to exhale. Inhale through the nose. Through the nose, exhale. Breath in. Breath out. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale through the mouth. Return to your natural breath. Bring the palms in front of the heart. Namaste.